what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video we're going to be talking about how i believe or how i would prefer to see the character of tommy doyle who we know will be returning in halloween kills how i would like to see this character get killed based off of everything we have seen as far as like some behind the scenes images and things of that sort so we know that anthony michael hall will be the one repri reprising well not reprising returning to play the role of tommy doyle who we know was previously played by paul rudd in halloween 6 the curse of michael myers it's the first time we'll be seeing tommy doyle within this i guess non rob zombie michael myers franchise since halloween 6 so jumping right on into it we know that we've seen images of, images of tommy doyle with a bat we've seen images of tommy doyle walking around town with said bat we've seen images of tommy doyle with Lindsay Wallace, Kyle Richards, with Marion Chambers, and presumably, of course, they'll be a part of this quote unquote mob that is going out there and attacking Michael Myers or hunting down Michael Myers, if you will, in this new film. So, based off of those little images, while I know a lot of you probably won't want Tommy Doyle to die, I myself personally would prefer to see this character die. I've come to that conclusion i would prefer to see this specific character die because i'm actually going to do a couple of videos just talking about creative ways that maybe some returning characters could die and characters that we've already had who could potentially die and how i'd like to see them die so tommy doyle with this whole bat thing i think that what will ultimately happen with michael myers will be the best course of action to take as far as like a cool way to get him killed would be to have michael myers of course go to town on Tommy Doyle with that baseball bat. And what I mean by go to town, I don't mean just a simple whack to the head and he's down. I just mean like simply just showing Michael Myers beating Tommy Doyle with that bat. I honestly think that would be a very gruesome thing to see on screen. Maybe a little bit too much. Maybe that's more on the verge of Rob Zombie. So maybe it'll be best if we cut away from it after a few solid hits letting us know that tommy doyle is dead but we don't get to see it so up close so it so at that point it's not like overly gory like with rob zombies halloween but if they go that route i'm not gonna be opposed to that i just think that of course the whole base bat baseball bat thing should be factored into his demise if he dies on screen i think it should be him getting beaten to death that's how i would like to see him die getting beaten to death with that baseball bat getting his head beat in or if they want to keep it simple a simple swing of the bat his head comes flying off how that ends up happening what position he finds himself in for that to occur that's going to be between him and whatever stupid decision he makes that will result in such a thing like that to occur the other thing we could see instead of having his head bashed off or having his head knocked off by a powerful swing from michael myers we could see michael myers just simply stick this bat somewhere that results in his death whether that be through his torso through his through his through his heart through something else on his body i just think it would be a very clever brutal and sadistic way to have tommy doyle killed since he wants to walk around with this baseball bat <laughs> I'm going to want to see that baseball bat factored into his demise if he ends up making if he ends up making his way onto the victim list for this film, which I do think he will. I don't think the character of Tommy Doyle will be sticking around for the long haul. The next character I'm probably going to do a video on talking about this will be Sheriff Brackett because I always forget to mention him. We know that Sheriff Brackett will be back. But yeah, that's how I would like to see Tommy Doyle die. I would like to see him get his head either bashed in, that's my preference, or a simple swing of the bat knocking his head off or something involving that bat getting jammed somewhere in his body that results in his death. Now, what they could also do, which again would be like a nod to Bob's death in Halloween, which we kind of didn't really get to see in Halloween 2018, if I'm not mistaken, because Cameron's death would have been the perfect, not Cameron, but the other boyfriend, um, I can't think of his name. His death would have been the perfect time to show something like that because I think he was like strung up to the wall with a knife. So maybe Tommy Doyle gets strung up to the wall or pierced to the wall with his bat. That'll be a nice way to pay homage to that death, Bob's death from Halloween 1978. So I just think that would be a nice thing to see. 
But those are my thoughts there as far as like how Tommy Doyle should die. How do you think Tommy Doyle should die? Would you want to see Tommy Doyle die? Or do you want to see Tommy Doyle make it out of this outing alive in some fashion? I just think that, of course, with all these characters coming back, we're going to learn how the 1978 events affected them and their trauma and them seeing Laurie Strode be thrown into another altercation with the shape that's going to lead to them finding their own sense of confidence and of course we know we're going to have that mob mentality going around so that will lead to a lot of them ultimately ending up getting themselves killed because their overconfidence will get the better of them and they'll forget that they're dealing with michael myers a person who does not have any issue in killing them by any means necessary so tommy doyle again going to be portrayed by anthony michael hall just to finish off the video, I do want to say that I can't wait to see how he portrays this character because I do love the actor Anthony Michael Hall. Big fan of his performance in a lot of the other films and projects that I've seen him in. I think he's a tremendous actor. I would like to see what type of energy he brings to this role. Um, I know a lot of you are disappointed that it's not Paul Rudd, but if it was Paul Rudd, again that's just basically honestly when they're bringing characters back and filling in actors that we've seen play these characters in different timelines i think for most people not speaking for myself but a lot of people they'll find that insulting because you're placing this actor who portrayed a different version of this character in a different timeline that many of you probably want to see an extension of but you're not getting that you're getting a completely different portrayal of tom because now we're reverting back to the original timeline in a sense by creating a new timeline but now it's only a sequel to the original film so those are just my thoughts on that and the whole idea of we're not going to be getting the same actor playing Tommy Doyle we're getting a new one in this one is going to be Anthony Michael Hall I don't have an issue with it uh I think that Tommy Doyle will get killed in this film he's not going to get killed in like the first act of the movie he's probably going to get killed somewhere leading into the film's final act which will bridge us into whatever final altercation goes on between whatever strolled women are involved in it because I think the strolled women of course will be involved in the final piece of this film but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description I have links to my social media accounts my Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video